Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to Will Candles. This channel is all about candle making in the candle business. If that's what you're interested in, you're in the right place. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of background story on me. I, believe it or not, did not intend to start a candle business or even make candles. But I had a little gift box and I wanted like a really small candle to go inside of that gift box. Something, I mean, this is not my candle, but I wanted something like this, something really small. So I went on a couple sites like Etsy and I was trying to find just a little um, 10 candle to put in the gift box. And they were a little bit more than what I wanted to pay to put into these gift boxes. So I said, hmm, I'll go ahead and I'll just figure out how to make my own candle. Can't be that hard wrong so you'll find out about that much later so what i did was went on amazon yes handy dandy amazon and i ordered myself a candle making kit it had the tin it had the wax it had wicks and i thought okay everything that i needed to make a candle well i made that one candle and it, i just it, it, it wasn't what i was looking for either so i thought hmm so I ordered a second kit that had a little more going on to the kit, a little, little higher price because I think the first one I only paid like $15 for the kit. And I thought, okay, I can pay a little bit more. And I did, got that kit. And then um, I guess from me searching from things on Google, what have you, different videos started to pop up for me on YouTube. I'm like, you know, oh, make these candles, how to do this, how to do that. So I found myself learning and more curious about candle making. And that's how I went from this to all of this behind me. So I'm just gonna um, go ahead, dive right in here with my story. My channel's name is Will Candles and it is named after my eldest son who passed away two years ago from a very rare form of cancer called synovial sarcoma. And even though I was making candles, I wasn't thinking about that. But then when I saw that I was, it was just more gonna be, ah, that it was going to be more than just a hobby that people were asking me like, well, can I buy one? Can I get this? Can I get that? And I thought, well, maybe I ought to come up with a name. So then I started thinking about my son and actually the candle making itself was like self therapy. And I find myself, you know, just creating the fragrances and, you know, pouring and playing around with different um, techniques and different types of uh, waxes and things and containers. And I found myself just really enjoying it and taking a break from just, you know, a little of the stress and a little still of the anxiety from having have lost my son. So then the more I thought about it and I thought, you know what, it's not enough that he passed away and, and you know, I would look at his ID and like, you know, here's his name. It, it's just here. And, and I thought, you know, living should be unforgettable. And when I thought that, in fact, I put that on my website now. So if you go to willcandles.com, you'll see that uh, slogan or word, whatever you want to call it. It's on there. And I thought, okay, I'll do Will Candles. And lo and behold, I just, from seeing his name every day and from developing things and, um, I just feel like a part of him is with me. So that is how Will Candles came to be. And that's a little bit of my story. So what did I start with? Oh, I started all over the place. I had all different kind of waxes. But at this point in time, I ended up doing a coconut soy wax, which I buy from the Flaming Candle. And I, I do have candle, two candle suppliers that I will link below for you so that if you are a beginner, that you can start looking at candle making supplies and tools and things and start getting kind of an idea of what your vision is or what you know you would like to um, test out. So I um, tried all different kind of waxes and I learned about paraffin wax. And after being a nurse, yes, and there's another little tidbit I'll throw in there. I have been a nurse now for 27 years. So that part of me needed uh, for these candles to be natural. I just couldn't fathom doing anything else. So even in the natural waxes, there are lots of different options with the wicks. There's, there are lots of different options. So I kept, you know, experimenting, experimenting, you know, lots of things didn't go well. And then finally, boom, things went pretty well and they all came together and it all worked out. Um, so that's another thing I'll tell you about the candle making business. Be patient, be persistent, 
and be patient. And above all else, when I give you this information on this channel, pay attention, learn your craft, go out on your own. There's, there's tons of things that you can learn. I will give you all that I know to give you. Um, but there's a lot, there's a lot. I can only give you on what I do and what I work with and how I, you know, like how I make my labels, how I do my shipping, um, you know, my suppliers that I use. I mean, I have, at this point, I do have quite a few different suppliers because sometimes suppliers will run out of something and you're like, oh, I gotta find somewhere else where I can go and get that. But um, I am here to teach you about candle making to the best of my ability and also the candle business. So if that's what you came for, you're in the right place. So I'm just gonna show you some basics also that I started out with. Um, I started out with, this is just a medium straight sided jar. It's what you would call a threaded jar. Very important to know that some are twist jars or twist lids, some are threaded. This is what a threaded looks like. That's one of my candles that doesn't have um, the label on it or anything. So this is what I started out with. Oops. Now I'm throwing the lids, lids around. And so then I upped my game a little bit more and I moved up to this. And this is a three wick candle that is marbled. And there's my labels, which I will also in another video show you how I create my labels. I will also show you how to do this marbling effect. These require a little bit more. Oh, this smells so good. <laughs> and, and that's pretty bad when you start falling in love with your own candles, but I do. I um I test my candles, test, test, test. That's very important. I'm gonna teach you all about that. Um, and it's, let's see, I think if I were just starting, this is what I'm going to do for you somewhere in the very beginning, maybe in the first six videos that I put out, I'm going to teach you about fragrance and how to get a good, what they call a hot throw. Cold throw is when you do this, is when you just smell it and what you smell, you know, how strong it is, the strength of the, the fragrance. Hot throw is when you're burning the candle and how much you can smell like in your room or in the area where you're burning it. When you're dealing with a natural wax, now if you're gonna do paraffin wax, you can pretty much um, do any fragrance and it's gonna give you a smell. But when you're doing the, the soy waxes and the coconut waxes, sometimes if you don't know what you're doing, you're, you could waste a whole lot of money going through fragrances and you'll make that candle, you'll let it cure for that two weeks and you'll like, I don't smell anything. I can, can, and you'll be asking family, can you smell this? Can you smell anything? And it's shocking to realize that you did all that work and you can't smell anything. Boy, did I wish that I knew all about fragrance throw in the very beginning. And now I have so many fragrances with my coconut soy waxes. I mean, it, it's amazing. Scent throw is amazing. You know, cold throw, hot throw. It, it's great. But there's a secret to the madness. And somewhere in my first six videos, I am going to teach you about um, having a great hot throw. Because if you can't, th this is what they'll tell you. When someone walks into your store or smells your candle, takes the lid off, smells, that is going to make them buy the candle if they like the cold throw. But what keeps them coming back is when they take that candle home and that candle fills their room or their their uh, space up with the fragrance. That's what, what is going to make them come back and keep buying candles off of you. So don't forget that on your candle journey. Okay, so I am going to give you a few tidbits of information. First of all, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, now would be a good time if you wanna follow along because I'll be putting new videos out every week and we will be, I will be showing you some things. I'll be teaching you some things. Uh, we'll have a little bit of fun along the way. And, oh, a lot of people want to know this. So is it worth going into the candle business? I'm just going to make a long story short. So when I first sold my first candle, didn't have a website, didn't have anything. I just had some candles. I actually did have labels. So I put the labels on there. And my son said, oh, mom, everybody on my job loves candles. So I had a little lunch bag, not a paper bag, but like a little insulated bag. And I put six different candles in there. Took them to work and in 24 hours, I had $750 in candle sales. 
keep that in mind if you are considering the business. But we'll we'll delve all into that as well. But what I want to get into real quick to give you something, some homework to work on until you watch the next video. I want you to go to these two websites and they are candle making suppliers. One is candlescience.com and I will link that below. The second website is theflamingcandle.com. I will also link that below. I want you to go onto their sites. I want you to look at their candle jars, candle tins. I want you to look at the waxes, read the details about the waxes. What are the pros? What are their cons? Because if you are desiring to make candles, especially if you're desiring to go into a business, you're going to, everyone's path is different. Some people will do this soy wax 464 and they just love it. Other people will use it and they hate it. Some people won't even dream of working with the wax that I work, which is the coconut soy wax. I absolutely love it, would not work with anything else. But you have to find what works for you and your style and your candles that you want to make. So go on to those two websites and just take a look. Just um, the other thing I want to tell you on candle science, the candlescience.com is probably one of the best um, beginner resource guides. They have a wax guide and they have a wick guide. You can learn a lot on that website. So I would say go on to candlescience.com and look at their wax guide and their wick guide and also look at their containers so that you can get some kind of idea of the candles that you would like to make. So I've given you a little bit of my backstory. I've introduced you to little bits and bobs of the candle making business. And like I said, this is my first video. Just wanted to hop on here, introduce myself. Again, my name is Sherry. This is Will Candles. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button below. Hit the little bell so that you'll be notified when I put up the next um, video. Yeah. So that's it for now. Um, yeah, this is all in my kitchen. Um, not a, a little bit of cooking goes on in here. <laughs> Mostly, it looks like a candle making laboratory behind me. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, see the next video. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the candle making tools and supplies because you're going to need those things. So I'm going to link below the two websites for you to go on to and look up information. And I'm also going to link below. I'll do a couple different basic candle making kits on Amazon and you can kind of pick one because it would be good kind of if you're following along with me, if you actually had some supplies at home and that way you haven't made that big of an, of an investment, but at least you'll get your feet wet. You'll, you know, get a little exposure to working with wax, um, as we go along and then maybe your kitchen will end up looking like my kitchen. <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I've enjoyed this and can't wait to see you all back here again. And we're going to do some candle making. All right, that's it for now. Bye.